Yeah. 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 Just as usual, we are looking at what is trending in Nigeria and globally. With me is Mr. Tidobu Michael. Mr. Tidobu Michael, you are welcome. Good morning, viewers. Um, I want to also look at a trending issue that has to do with the statement that was uh, credited to the one of our clerics and talking about Tidobu Bakari, who said that he was in a meeting and they were discussing about how to deal with evils. And in that meeting, they were talking, saying that the evils are brought everywhere. And he asked them, is it on gunpoint? They said no. Did they pay money? They said yes. He said, why the conspiracy? So, I don't know. Does it mean there is a conspiracy against the evil? Oh, well, uh, 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 anybody that is saying that there is no um, a kind of um, um, sentiment, you know, against um, the Igbo uh, 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 presence in in, in in Lagos is that person is not is not telling the truth. The truth still remains is that um, what happened during that period, or even before the establishment of the entity called Nigeria. You know, the, there has been this um, uh, reservation, you know, on a, a, a tribe called Igbo. Let me just give you an insight. Um, uh, remember, during the days of Fashola, you know, there was a government gazette that was published, you know, and that publication led to people, you know, some certain group of people, um, um, agitating or even advocating for the position of deputy governor for uh, Igbo uh, or, or, or an Igbo uh, becoming a deputy governor in Lagos State, giving their immense contribution. I think if I can be correct, uh, the first only administration at that time made it very clear that uh, uh, Igbo contributed uh, or has contributed um, 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 so much in the development of Lagos State. Um, the, uh, investment wise, uh, I think above 53 or 57 percent, population wise, 47 percent. So, uh, and that was the issue as at that time that a lot of people start calling for uh, uh, in, uh, deputy governor position of Igbo extraction. So, um, the first thing remain this yeah, Igbos uh, are Republicans, uh, they believe. That wherever they are, uh, uh, they can make changes. You know, they can transform anything. That has how they have been. Not only in Lagos, even any elsewhere globally. You know, uh, 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 looking about 200 co uh, countries around the world. There's nowhere you go, you will not see uh, 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 an Igbo there. So what Tunde Bakere is trying to tell you is that you know, see this gang up, this conspiracy against the Igbo. Is not actually going to work and it's not worth it. So, do you think the conspiracy or whatever other threat is against the Igbo is threatening the existence of the Igbo in Nigeria? Uh, of course, uh, you, you know, not, not only that, uh, it has been like that for a very long time. That does the truth. It has been like, long, like that, you know, for the past, uh, since Nigeria came into uh, existence, you know, uh, we have not seen an Igbo president. That is a clear marginalization. Uh, we have not seen uh, an Igbo uh, uh, person uh, becoming the president of this country. Um, that is pure for me. It is deliberate. It's a gang up, you know, between uh, uh, the, the, the West and, of course, the Northerners, you know. And up to now, that issue has not been resolved. Uh, the, a lot of people say it's because of the uh, uh, civil war. I, I, I think that is absolutely rubbish. It's, it's un unacceptable. Yeah, well, the, 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 the fact is there. You understand? And the, 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 uh, unless that thing is being um, treated the way it's supposed to be handled, we are not going to um, see if uh, uh, Igbos will come to see themselves you know, as not really been part of you know the political system in Nigeria. So um, anybody that is telling you that Igbos are not marginalized in Nigeria, go to Southeast, you know, the entire Southeast, or you understand, you will not see 
any major uh, federal government presence there. What you, all you see there are individual efforts. So it tells me a lot of things. This level of uh, marginalization, conspiracy, is part of reason the average Igbo man of say Biafran is subscribing is always subscribing to idea of iPod or creation of Biafra's Republic. It is part uh, apart from that it is part and uh, it is what um, uh, um, uh, you know having done so much because of the perceived hatred let me put it that way you know of people in this country. Even in, in, in go to uh, uh, even in, if you want to rent house now, you understand? They will tell you that uh, we don't want a Igbo man there. You know, it's just not to give an house to people. Pardon? You mean the conspiracy, the hatred that's sent to give an house to people? Of course, now when you go, the landlord will tell you, you know, they don't want to uh, say any bull. They don't want uh, any Igbo man in, 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 their, in their compound. Uh, I know, and that, that sentiment has been there, and that is why that you see that every Ubu man struggles, you know, to own a property. So, part of what is driving them, you know, to acquire properties is this sentiment I'm trying to uh, uh, explain to you now, you know, and uh, 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 up to now, is still there. It has not been handled. So, I, I don't think that uh, if actually the people believe that, you know, Nigeria belongs to everyone, that this kind of sentiment, you know, gang up in, uh, by the Yorubas against Igbos, you know, in terms of, you know, property, in terms of their investment, in terms of uh, 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 giving a house to Igbo, is, uh, uh, is, is, is not something, you know, that should be taken lightly. And that has fueled uh, the, uh, the, the, the reception uh, Igbos are getting, the Easterners are getting about the Biafra Republic. Now, in the midst of all this, in the face of all this, what is the group of Igbo presidency in Nigeria? It depends on how they, they, they are going to handle that, the political class, if actually, you know, they will sit down and know that they have this thing continue like this, you know, uh, they, 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 they will, um, add more uh, uh, life to the issue of IPAB, to the issue of that, that, that's the part. And unless that is, is achieved, you know, there's nothing wrong. I don't know why, you know, there's this perception that, you know, uh, uh, we are not going to hand over to an Igbo man. You understand? When that we know we're still, we're still existing there, uh, as Nigeria. Nigeria has not, Nigeria have not disintegrated. You know, on, uh, even if, it, for me, even if Nigeria uh, continue to, uh, even if an Igbo man becomes the president of this country, I still prefer that at the end of the day, because somewhere along the line, uh, the issue will still come up. I still prefer you know, that the world, the UN, the, uh, the international community should look at the plight. Yes, they look at the plight uh, and see what they can do, you know, to uh, 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 have a permanent solution. Yes, a permanent, the permanent solution is disintegration, you know, because what is coming, what is coming in, in a few years from now, uh, we still point towards disintegration of Nigeria. People want to stay on their own. That is just the way it is. You mean finally, at a point, Nigeria must disintegrate? Of course, there are no two ways about it. Of course, you, you know that when uh, the Southern and uh, 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 the, uh, the Southern and Northern Protectorate was amalgamated, even this Lagos was not part of the amalgamation. Uh, uh, go and ask anybody. You know, Lagos was just an administrative uh, uh, colony until later around, uh, 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 later in the year. Uh, I don't think, uh, if I can remember, 75 was there about or when um, uh, Lagos, State, Lagos State was now incorporated uh, as an entity, as part of an entity of Nigeria. You know, Lagos State was not, so everybody is saying that uh, uh, Igbo should not be given property. Igbo have, have, what of Igbo's contribution to the uh, to Lagos State economy? What have Igbo's achieved, given their immense contribution to the economy of Lagos State? And that's why people are saying that, at least at this level, seeing what this one has contributed to the development of Lagos State, they are what uh, 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 the deputy governor sought of Lagos State. Okay, I think let us quickly look at another area. Thank you for your time. This is uh, Nigerian News Center.